Today, I'm going to be playing Tennis in the Face. Developed by Tantons Limited, Tennis in the Face borrows elements from Angry Birds to bring you another silly physics shooter. The object of the game is to knock out all the people, like the clown, or the guy in the hazmat suit. Each character has slightly different attributes. Some hold shields, some drop stuff. There's also glass, explosives, and vending machines to keep things interesting. The less balls you use, and the more headshots you make, the higher your score will be, and the more levels you can unlock. There's 120 levels, and several mini-games offered in between. You can't actually move during a match of tennis in the face. You can only aim your ball and shoot. The amount of balls you have varies, and sometimes you're given explosive soda cans. The bouncing physics are really good, and it's satisfying to nail someone in the face after several well-planned bounces. The precision seems ultra-fine, leaving nothing at random. At first it might seem like the ball deviates slightly, but remember the dudes are also swaying back and forth all the time, causing little variations. The game has considerable depth, and a meaningful high scoreboard. There's a global leader access board during the second batch of levels, where the big tennis ball is. That's what really kept me playing this game. After I beat it and experienced its charm, I went back and discovered new angles, improved all my scores, and extended this game shelf life tremendously. Although I wish there was one central hub where I can view a list of all my scores at once. With the map, it's hard to see where I can improve. Overall, Tennis in the Face is a proper bird's clone and beat my expectations. What about yours? Leave a message and visit GameTestPlay.com